this is a prototype of a PS01 synthesizer, which is a fully software synthesizer running on a Gen 3 particle device. In this case, it's, a, it's an Argon with built-in Wi-Fi. We're not going to really use the Wi-Fi that much, so it might be replaced with a Xenon that just has a BLE. And connected to this is digital to analog con converter um, using I squared S. So it's a very easy to use with the, the 3Gen device um, because we can use DMA to very quickly pass the data to the DAC. So that's a very, very nice, neat thing. We also have uh, Adafruit Trellis keyboard that is has nice 4 by 4 matrix, so it's perfect for making beats and uh, using it as a rudimentary uh, keyboard over there. The additional part will be um, a screen. Uh, this is a 128 by 64, I believe. Um, the exact size is not really determined. The idea is basically not to spend too much mu too much on the um, on the screen. Um, then we're also gonna have um, four uh, encoder uh, encoders over here, probably above the the keyboard, the above the trellis. Um, you might kind of um, think of it as similar way as um, OP1 is ha has four knobs to control everything. We also want to use uh, those four knobs to um, control everything. Um, and last part would be an USB host uh, controller allowing to connect any MIDI keyboard over USB to actually play, uh, play this as an instrument. Okay, first order of business is to replace the LEDs in this matrix because I had to use mixed ones, some of them brighter, um, some of them a bit dimmer so you can clearly see that for example like those blue ones are very much visible but then if you go here it's not that visible unfortunately the green is not going out so basically the idea is to replace them with a bunch of new ones and have all of them be red and all of them be bright to make sure that all of the LEDs have the same brightness, I basically took a couple of them, connected them together, powered up using you know a photon just to make sure that they all work. And yep, I pretty much selected ones that are very much the same brightness and I will start replacing them in the matrix. This is Adafoot Trellis. Um, it's the cheaper version, so basically it has just a single color LEDs. There's also uh, a newer, better version that has RGB LEDs. I actually have that one. For now, it's now it's fine. Um, I am thinking about upgrading to the RGB LEDs in the future, but for now, this is this is totally fine. The way I mounted it is a bit strange, as um, Basically, I use an angle uh, connectors here to be able to pop in the uh, the keyboard on the on the device and pop it in and pop it out. The idea is that there would be a PCB with a bunch of connectors for all the components, and then any person that wants to build a synthesizer, they would just plop in all the components and they could just buy those modules um, on their own. So what you have to do here is to basically replace all the LEDs except those two uh, because they're actually fine. Um, desolder them and solder new ones in place. Small note about um, soldering components. Um, you might know the trick with um, true components where you put them through the PCB and then you bend both legs and all the legs on different sides and that makes the, um, the component stay on the PCB so it's easier to solder. The problem is when you want to actually desolder those components it starts to get really tricky because the legs uh, keep clinging on the uh, sides of the holes so those are the ones that I was able to actually rescue out of the PCB and, but unfortunately some of them uh, died in the process so if you're planning on desoldering any components I would suggest maybe not using that method. Okay all the LEDs have been replaced so now we can put the elastomer on top of it and all the buttons are 
nice and bright now. So yeah, that's it for this part. The next part, I will try to assemble the knobs to be able to control all the functions of the synthesizer. See you next time.